Hi, and welcome back. So today I'm going to talk about this book. I'm going to review this book I read, Dear Child by Romy Hausman, H-A-U-S-M-A-N-N, Dear Child. What a great book. Um, so it's a thriller. Uh, this is going to be spoiler free, by the way. Uh, and actually, before we get started, I just want to say thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button, uh, like, share, comment. I answer all comments. Um, let me know what you think. If there's any good books you can recommend, put them in the comments. I'll read them, maybe review them. But anyway, so Dear Child, this is a thriller. It's actually a number one international bestseller. I don't know if you can see that with the glare. There you go. Um, it's really, really good. It is, I will tell you uh, how many pages it is. The story itself is 349 pages. Um, it's I really enjoyed this book. Um, just to give you an idea what it's about, basically, um, the book starts right out. Again, no spoilers, but the idea of the book is that someone who's been missing for many, many years sh uh, shows up in a hospital. And so that's the idea. What's going on? Um, what I like about this book is the way that it was written, there's no omniscient narrator. Um, so the book doesn't have a narrator that tells you what's going on, gives you their opinions. And the way this is written is every section has the name of whatever character is telling their story at the time. So in other words, it's told from the point of view of all of the characters in the book. There's no generic, um, you know, narrators. Um, everything is told by the characters. So, for example, like you'll see there's a section and it'll say like Lena. Everything after that is that person's thoughts, observations, what they, you know, see, think. And then, and then it, when that's done, it goes right to another character and it's told from their point of view. I thought that was pretty unique. I've never read a book like that and it was definitely very, very good. Um, there were a lot of twists and turns. A uh, lot of, you know, uh, well, twists and turns. So that's, that's good. I, I enjoy that. Um, and it was just really, really good. Um, a lot of, um, I don't know, it was just sort of mystery, thriller, um, whodunit, all mixed into one. Um, and there's a lot of... Um, a lot of directions it goes in, a lot of points of view, um, a lot of information, some misinformation. Um, but I overall thought it was a really, really good book. I definitely recommend it. And I'm going to look into other books by this author. Um, I don't actually know if this, if there's anything in here about other things that this author has um, written. But, um, okay. So one thing I just noticed that this is a translation. So apparently this was a German book because it says here it was translated uh, from German. So, and it does take place in Germany, the whole story. Um, so that makes sense. Um, but it's really good. Uh, I don't see anything in here about other books by the author. Uh, oh no, this is her English language debut, it says, this book. Um, it's real good. Um, I definitely, like I said, I enjoyed reading it. It took me maybe a week to get through it. Um, not that that tells you much because you don't know how fast I normally read. Um, but it was a decent read. The beginning was a little more, uh, you got to stick with it. Um, but then as you go, you know, it gets much, much more, more fluid to read, more uh, a driving read. It's really good. I like it. But all through the book, through the whole, from beginning to end, the author does that where there's no omniscient narrator that knows all and is narrating what's going on with everyone. Every section, it's told from different, from the points of view of each uh, character. And they, it's their section. So that's now you're in their mind. And then it gets to the next one and you're in that character's mind and so on and so forth and so on and so forth. So it's definitely a very good book. Um, you know, uh, you know, a lot of uh, intrigue, mystery, 
In fact, you know what? I'll, I'll tell you what it says on the inside cover here because that's not a spoiler. That's what you read. And if you don't want it, you can stop the video now. But here we go. Uh, if you haven't, I'm going to tell you what it is. Um, it says here, a windowless shack in the woods, a dash to safety. But when a woman finally escapes her captor, the end of the story is only the beginning of her nightmare. She says her name is Lena. Lena, who disappeared without a trace 14 years prior. She fits the profile. She has a distinctive scar. But the family swears she is not their Lena. The little girl who escaped the woods with her knows things she isn't sharing. And Lena's devastated father is trying to piece together details that don't quite fit. Lena is desperate to begin again, but something tells her that her tormentor still wants to get back what belongs to him and that she may not be able to truly escape until the whole truth about what happened in the woods finally emerges. So that's the basic idea of the story. And again, it was done really, really, really well. And the type of story it is, it was really smart of the author to tell it the way that she told it in the, from the points of view of the different characters because it really lets you, it's, it's a smart way to have you constantly turning, twisting and turning, changing your mind about what you think and it's not like it's a cop out because the narrator is just telling you various things. It's, you know, there's a reason because you, you know, you hear from one person, so this is what you think, and you're thinking, okay, is this what's going on based on that person? And then you, you hear something from another person, wait a minute, now that's, does that mean this? Is it a little different? So it's definitely an interesting read. I thoroughly enjoyed it and definitely, definitely recommend it. So, I mean, if you're looking for a good thriller, a good, you know, not too, too bad of a read, not too big, I mean, 300 and some pages, it, uh, again, it's not a huge commitment of time, um, I definitely would recommend it. Um, it's fun, it's exciting, it's thrilling, it's a, it's a mystery, mysterious whodunit that you got to figure out. So, yeah, overall, lots of fun. I definitely would recommend it. Um, and so, yeah. That's my review. I think it was a good book. I like the way that it was told. And, um, I, you know, it, you definitely should read it. So, again, it's called Dear Child by Romy Hausman, H-A-U-S-M-A-N-N. -N. Uh, so, yeah, pick it up. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please click that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.